Nicole Butler White and her daughter Egypt love a good bedtime story, and this one holds a special place in their hearts. I even learned how to spell my name. What's the book about? That all the things I do. The Brian native wrote this book, raising Egypt for and about her five-year-old daughter. She doesn't get to see a lot of young girls that look like her. So not only was the book about her journey it's also about seeing someone uh, other kids to see a book that has a girl with locks not only that she's a black girl but a black girl with locks and it's a big difference the book is filled with affirmations no, teaching egypt <laughs> and other children to love the skin I they're in to be they can see the beauty of the hair and they can see you know um the intimacy of mom and daughter what do you want other people to feel when they read your book? Mm -hmm. Very confident mm -hmm. and okay. very excited. Local librarian Jennifer Stadler says children reading books that reflect themselves truly builds that confidence and promote literacy. It's important to see themselves succeeding and there are many voices out there and to be able to get those into formats that children can read is very important from infancy all the way up through college and beyond. Clara B. Mounts Public Library has a variety of diverse books ranging in ethnicity and language and actively seek more books to grow their collection. Raising Egypt comes with a black and white version at the end of the book, adding an interactive color and element to promote diversity. I wanted everybody to feel included so you can create whomever your character is to look like you. And Brian, Rachel Espiot, 25 News.